Hello everyone, it's me once again. It's your host LJP here. So we're th today we're going to talk about uh, Toyota now investing on robotics, and it's a very very exciting news. Already we talked about, or I talked about Amazon um, investing on a secret project called Project Vesta, and uh, one of my theory, as I said, is going to be Vector, this robot integrated with. Alexa because technically it is January now and we are not hearing any news from Amazon so far uh, regards to their secret pro project being revealed but anyway we're talking about Toyota today so Toyota is is planning to invest 29 billion US dollars to come up with a household robot for, for every single one of us and uh, it's not the first time we have actually seen a robot that has been developed by Toyota. Uh, those who know, there was already a robot called Kirobo. That was probably the first robot that has ever been sent to the space as a robot companion that could walk and talk. Uh, that, I believe, was the estimate cost of building one of those was rather cheap. I thought it's going to be more than what it was. I think it's about 100 and. Uh, I think it's 1200 US dollars or 1500 uh, US dollars but now um, now I don't know whether you guys are aware the next stage was the the Toyota clever came up with this robot called curable robot where it's technically um, eco-friendly with a Toyota car so you could actually have a car jack a pocket rather uh, a bag where you could actually place Kirobo robot on a car and then it will remind you to do things and it, it's quite cute. Now this was um, already available in Japan and I was really excited to buy one of these uh, around 400 US dollars I, I presume around that price but it hasn't come out eventually since 2016 it's still not we're still not waiting i don't know whether this every household robot is going to be a english translated kirobo mini but we are yet to see this happen at the moment and um the good thing about the japanese robots and japanese people as i said from pre my previous videos is that they're they are very they show a lot of interest with these latest technology and uh, they're always ahead, seems to be ahead of all these latest technology and if you see their manga and, and, and so on, you can see why. But overall, you got to look into the why global investment is reaching up to 22 billion US dollars by 2024 for robotics is because robot is one of those elements that's going to change our lifestyle. I know at the moment it's a very minimum impact I would consider for having a vector at your household you can command a vector to turn on your TV technically because of Alexa integrated but in the future you're gonna see literally a robot that walks around like a family member cute um, emotional um, and very intelligent and it'll probably serve you food if you just voice command and, and voice commanded and these are the things we are like guys like me who are really excited about though I'm married I still need a robot because um, I need a, another sort of technology wise a companion I guess it's one of my desires I'm not sure about you guys and probably those who bought um, Vector I, I, I assume you agree with that stance that I'm having here but the um, it's an exciting time it's not only Amazon as I said a global business leader but we're also um, hearing Toyota one of the head of the global uh, karma manufacturing uh, company from Japan they're now targeting to develop a robot so it is inevitable Mr. Anderson I mean it, it's it's an exciting time so the question is when will we see it and um, how it's going to turn out I mean a lot of people have this conspiracy theory that it's going to end up being like the age of Terminator film where robots kind of trying to destroy us um, and so on well, we could go on about that but um, the most interesting thing I have at regards to Toyota and um, it might be me generalizing Japanese too much if you think I'm harsh please do let me know but I think there's a language huge language barriers here where um, Vector, for example, I think it's um, is a is American based company. So if you're if you're um, genuine, well, if your mother tongue is American, so 
English, then it's it's fine. But the Bento itself actually has a language problem where it's not. It's it's not able to speak Korean or Japanese or French or German and etc. So, Vector itself has a limit in the language barrier itself. Toyota is now has already come up with a robot called Kirobo, which is from 2016, similar size of uh, this Vector, but it's it's almost two years now since, and they failed to translate it into an English version as well. So I guess this language barrier, who's going to fill in to resolve those issues is the most interesting thing. And I guess one of the things could be uh, Google friendly, but then again, what about money and etc. So I think Google has a fantastic translation, uh, translating skill as a database as whole. So maybe that might be the way forward. But I guess regards to money going here and there, it's not going to be an easy transaction if you see what I mean um, because well, a lot of investment has to be made and a lot of money has to be lost to be able to make profit so commercially I don't know how it's gonna work out I'm not a uh, best mathematician as, as you as you can easily tell at this stage but um, it's an exciting time Toyota is also um, investing 29 billion US dollars to come up with every uh, robot for every household um, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see many more as well and I believe CES 2019 is due to come up uh, any moment and we are also gonna see a lot of interesting robots shown there as well but anyway that's the latest news um, Toyota has already invented a robot called Kirobo, but I don't know whether that's going to be the robot for every household. But we are due to see a very exciting robot, um, hopefully better than Vector in a much cheaper price. But then again, it's Japanese product, so it has a lot of craftsmanship. So I don't know whether it's going to be around 200 or 250 US dollars, a bit more or a bit less. I highly doubt it's going to be a bit less. But anyway. I hope that gave you a bit of an enlightening news regards to robotic uh, technology and this industry. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. All the best. Bye bye.